Hello, hello. Good morning. Welcome back. I'm Claire. This is Purple Poppy. And today we are here for the Monday Make. Those of you that have not seen it before, this is where I provide a new design that I've created into the Facebook group. And then I do a short video making something with the paper. Obviously, once you print the paper out, you can go forward and make whatever you would like to make with it. I do ask that obviously if you make to sell, that's absolutely fine. But please don't sell the sheets or pass them on as your own work. We know that's not really the way to behave. Um, this week, I've actually done the page three times. I've done it in the grey, blue, grungy coffee that I love, but I'm conscious not everybody loves gun grungy. So I did also do a teal version for the lovers of the blue colour pathway, and I also did a pink version. So obviously you can use whichever one or all three that suit what you want to do. But before I start with that, I wanted to show you what I've been up and about and doing at about six o'clock this morning. And what I've been doing is making my own washi tape from stamps. So I've pulled out, um, now this is not the actual field notes set that you get from Tim Holtz. Because when I get my stamp sets, I tend to separate them out into the groups that I would use them in. So sometimes you'll get bits from other sets. Sometimes you will have not all of the stamps. But a lot of you have asked me about these shaped labels, label stamps, these ones. And also about all my numbers. The majority of the numbers and stamp, the number stamps that I have, and definitely these two label shapes, came in the Tim Holtz Field Notes kit. All right? Okay, so what I did was I took a sheet of vellum, 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 and I stuck to the back a piece of double-sided tape, like so. Trim it off, obviously. Give it a good, hard press down. And this does two things. Obviously, it makes your vellum into, as it were, a label or the washi tape, as I've mentioned. But also, the white backing paper shows you exactly where it is. And as you can see, I've done a number of them already this morning. But I just wanted to do a couple more and show you <clears throat> how easy and simple it is and now i haven't got a stamping block for goodness sake oh well never mind um so i'm going to show you how i did that so very very simply i just obviously inked it up and then pop it down ink it up mess that one up now it's because i haven't got a block to hand and stamp it down it's really simple and obviously you can trim these wherever you want to trim them so really easy way to make and because i'm going to cut them out obviously it doesn't matter they can't really be upside down it does obviously help if you've got your block because you don't get that messiness that i've just created Well, as you can see, the ones that I did with the block this morning worked perfectly well. It's just being messy without a block. So, simple, simple. Just stamp on the designs that you want. And I started doing this because of the project that I wanted to make. So you don't obviously have to do this, you could just stamp straight onto your 
projects. But then what I can do is I can come along and cut those out, which I'll show you in a minute. So that's what I was doing earlier. Now, I've got my cutting board. Got my paper. Okay, I've got printed out two sheets and I've got a file folder. Now, for what I'm going to be doing, you don't need a file folder. You could use any card. Um, I'm using this because it was on my desk. Well, actually, there's two of them on my desk. And I love the millinery buff colour of it. Any card will do. And what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to make for myself mini file folders. Now I've shown you how to do this many times, I believe, um, and lots of people on YouTube have videos on this. So I'm not going to go too slowly or over explain what I'm doing. I'm just gonna march on through as it were. So I want it to fold about there. I'm gonna fold it there and I'm gonna trim it there. I'm gonna set that piece aside and then I'm gonna do this one as well. And what I'm planning to do here is I'm planning to do a small journal. These might even actually fit in this one. Yes, they will. So there you go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these mini file folders as signature divisions. I think it's about there. Yeah. As signature divisions. So going to trim this one down as well. Trust everybody's okay. Had a great weekend. Ready to face the week. Oh, we did have a giggle on the live yesterday. I don't quite know. Maybe some of us had had a Sunday morning glass of wine or whatever, but we did giggle away. It was great fun. Okay, so on here, what I want to do is... I want to line up the end with, if you've got one of these, I line it up with the end of the blue there, okay, like that, and then flip it over and measure my tab. I want my tab about two and, two and a half inches, yeah, about two and a half inches, and then if we just go randomly across it makes it easy to cut that straight line just like so okay and then I'm going to put the other one this side so line it up there again flip it over oh no don't flip it over this time sorry two and a half inches like that and then obviously we can just like so and that then gives me my file folder so I'm just going to quickly do the other side or the other one And then this one. Do 
Can we get it? Oh, I've done it the same side. Oh, well, that one's the same side. I shouldn't have turned it over. Never mind. Okay. So, as I say, what my plan is here is to use these as, like, sort of signature frames. So... Round off these corners. That's better. Okay. And then I find generally for this size, what you need is. Um, A5 papers so put it out fold it in half like so here's my ruler and then when you fold them in half again they become your A6 postcard type size and they should fit just about perfect into your file folder okay and then as I say that will be a signature front and a signature back so that's what I'm planning to do with these So what I wanted to do was obviously use my paper to decorate these and then I wanted to use the washi tapes that I've just made to label the tabs. That one might be a little bit, yeah, we need to take a little bit off that edge. So actually let's use the decal for this. everybody's interpretation of the weekend challenge your a few of your favourite things they're all coming in still need a bit more of that goodness me they're all coming in um, and they're all obviously completely different and it's awesome Some beautiful renditions it's lovely to see people getting involved and thinking differently to other people there we go perfect right so get rid of them so now obviously what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down my papers so I can use them to decorate my file folders whoops Oh, for goodness sake. So do you remember when I was here on Saturday? And if you've watched Saturday's video, there was a couple of things when awry and I said to you, let's hope that's not an indication of how Saturday will be. Uh, well, when I finished on the video and I was waiting for it to watch it. I went to attack my kitchen and oh. conquer the washing up and have a general tidy up and there I was happily mulling over various salts doing the washing up and smash crash I dropped a Pyrex dish uh, oh, for those of you that are not as ancient as I am. A Pyrex dish is um, glass, but it's like heat proof glass uh, that you can put in the oven, etc. 
and um, I threw the thing on the floor. Well, they might be heat proof, but they're certainly not concrete floor proof. And this thing shattered into what I can only describe as a million pieces. Not only did it smash into a million pieces, but it bounced. There was shards of this broken glass bouncing all over the place. And whilst it's annoying, and you know, it means that I've obviously now got to go and buy a new one because if you're anything like me when you've got something in your tool box be it in your craft room or your kitchen or whatever um, you tend to use it and it then becomes the thing you use for lots and lots of different jobs so I've had no no dish all weekend and it sounds really stupid because i have lots of other dishes but it's just thrown me out i'm like oh how can i cook that what do i put that in and i wouldn't have minded quite so much except on thursday i think it was i'd smashed a casserole dish <laughs> the glass plate so me and the kitchen floor are not the best of buddies right now But, you know, these things are sent to tribes, as they say. And I've been out in the kitchen this morning and I've been scrubbing all of my stamps. Literally, every stamp that I own has been in the kitchen sink. It's had a good old rub with some fairy liquid. And now they're all clean and lovely and ready to go away probably ruined two tea towels in the process but hey presto these things are sent needs must and all that eh? it's a bit like having a line that you only use for paper and not for clothes <laughs> don't tell hubby so in that respect you see this uh, lockdown malarkey has been pretty good because I don't need to keep iron in because nobody's working any clothes nobody's going anywhere so here we go okay so I'm just going to quickly obviously do this one as well do that till it's stuck so we're gonna get the trusty prick stick out and I'll glue this up I must change my desk paper today just in case you can't see it's absolutely rank disgusting is what it is right we want this bit at the front so where's my fold line there's my fold line so I offer it up on the fold edge like that Okay, and then I'm just gonna move up oh I know what the problem was Saturday it was the making and remaking of the lap demo wasn't it because oh yes ended up doing that three times I remember I was just trying to think what had what had gone wrong on Saturday and that's what it was wasn't it the first one didn't record and then I tried to um, just do the talk through and I wasn't happy with that so I ended up 
doing it again and starting off with um, a really tatty base bolt I remember but we got there as we always do because there is no such thing as wrong just different remember okay So I've covered my <coughs> my mini file folder and I will obviously be putting them inside when we get there. But this is where I get to use my washi tape. So what do we want? I think the obvious thing would be one of these. So I'm going to just cut down the side of the double sided tape. Okay. Where I want to be. Like so. And I'm just going to trim it out. Okay. Oops. Okay. And then obviously I'm just going to trim it off. And then obviously we need to lift up the backing paper. Just like so. And then we've got a nice thick label. To go on it just reminds me of you know like an office an office paperwork so that's that one and then i'm just going to quickly do the other one and then i'm going to have a look and see how that will yeah it's not going to quite go on there i'm going to have to use the other sheet so one. I thought I'd need to, that's all I ended up printing. So uh, there's a couple of ladies in the Facebook group that have been saying about um, they weren't really into making digital kits, etc. Which is fine, there's no reason you necessarily should be. Um, and therefore, they, they couldn't really find a use for the Pixel Scrapper website that I'd given them. Well, I then got into a conversation with one of them and said, well, it's not necessarily always about designing a kit with them. Um, you can get all sorts of wonderful elements. You know, if you just simply go on to the website and in the search bar search what you want so for example lace and obviously all the images will come up you don't have to use it for a digital kit you can actually use it to fussy cut ephemera um, and I did hear from her. You see, I've not inked up this one. So, a bit less grungy on this one. And I spoke to her the other day, and that's what she's been doing. And she's now loving it and getting on really well with it. So that's something else, you know, to give some consideration to. So not only about using it to design kits. I'm reminded of it, obviously, because... It's elements from that that I've used to create these papers. Okay. Oh, sounds like there's a cat or something in the garden. He's having a bit of a moan at the window. Okay. 
So, what label would we like on this one? Um, <clears throat> I think we'll go for this 3043, shall we? Now, obviously, making the washi tape like this with um, the stamps, a lot of people might think it's not necessary because obviously you can stamp directly onto wherever you're going to stick it. And that is very true, you can. But if you... Just trying to get the back off the double-sided tape... If you take it to the next level, sorry, just concentrating for a minute, trying desperately to get the backing tape off. Um, if you take it to the next level and you use the double sided tape on your printed papers there we go you see the difference where it's been inked and not inked um, if you go to the next level and you use the double sided tape onto your printed papers so let's just use this odd little bit here okay and if I run this right across the bottom like so okay and I trim it off I've got myself washi tape which I could then, for example, not quite long enough, but I can use to edge my pages. That's if you can ever get the backing off, of course. Can use to edge your pages or indeed you could use let's just use this for example for a minute you can actually now use as a bit of sellotape so there you go doesn't have to be about um here you go I'll put it up there doesn't have to be about your stamps, that's just how I was doing it. You can obviously do it also to on your papers. So there you go, that's what we've created this morning. We've taken our papers and some cardboard and we've made little signature cases. You could use them for anything, but if we look, that would now sit in there yeah sits in there perfectly well okay so as always thank you very much for joining me happy crafting stay safe i'll see you soon bye for now